Hi, I'm Tristan with Shoot Straight. In this video, we're going to talk about some safety concerns that I have with the Ely Pro Eco Wads. Back in November 2020, we first tested the Ely Zenith Pro Eco 32s. At the time, when we were cutting cartridges open, we noticed that there were about an average of five to six pellets getting stuck in the bottom of the wad. If you fast forward a month, we were testing a new batch of the Ely Zenith Pro Ecos. But when we went to cut one of the old cartridges open, we noticed that there had been a dramatic increase in the number of pellets getting stuck in the bottom of the wad. The picture on the left shows the number of pellets stuck inside the wad of the Ely Zenith Pro Eco 32s when we cut it open in November. The picture on the right is a cartridge from the same batch, but cut open a month later in December. As you can see, there's a significant increase in the number of pellets that are now stuck to the wad. I should add that these cartridges have never been wet and have been stored inside my house, so there's no reason that they should have gotten damp. In these pictures you can see two of the Ely Pro Eco wads. The left hand picture shows clearly two pellets stuck near the top of the wad. If you look closely you can see that there's a white powder formed between the pellet and the wad itself. The wad also shows marks where other pellets have been in contact with this same white powdery substance. I'm not sure what the cause of that white powder is. I would suspect either a reaction between the copper coating on the shot and the case or some form of oxidization. But what it does mean is that the pellets are not only sticking to the wad but also sticking to each other. I've spoken to two other people who both shoot the Ely Pro Eco wads and asked them to cut one open. They've both come back with similar findings. In this side by side you can see new fresh shot that's been unaffected as well as shot that's showing evidence of this white powder. My concerns are that if this continues to get worse with time or is accelerated by either the cartridges coming into contact with water or damp storage conditions, then it could be only a matter of months before you start firing large clumps of pellets. Without proper testing, there's no way of knowing if these clumps of pellets, when fired, will break up or stay together as one solid lump. Being hit by a falling pellet can hurt, as I'm sure that most of us can attest to, but being hit by a lump of 20, 30, 40 or even 50 pellets could do far more you could not only suffer serious damage, but it could be fatal. I would suggest to anyone using the Ely Pro Eco wads that you periodically check your cartridges before using them, particularly if they've been stored for any length of time. I'm going to monitor these cartridges over the next few weeks and months and will be sure to keep you updated.